I am halfway, over halfway, to having enough subscribers to monetize my videos and make money off of all of my videos, not just on one of my channels, but videos of lawnmower trains too. And when I have done that, I will have achieved a sort of greatness in my own eyes. But... <coughs> But I have uploaded a video a day for over three months. And it took me this long to get to the halfway point. And I'm still here. I still have my sanity. <laughs> yes. But in all seriousness, I have more subscribers now than a lot of other rail fans who really deserve more than me. They put on better stuff than me. Let's go down the list and see where all the rail fans that I hold in high regard are standing. In comparison to me, of course. Now, right now, Railroad Velocipede Productions, who's just recently started doing videos, is sitting at 25 subscribers. Now, it doesn't really mean much that I'm ahead of him because he just got started. He's been doing this for like, you know, a month or two. And, you know, being ahead of him, I mean, he's actually gaining a lot real quick. Then we got Steam Z. He's got 205 subscribers. Of course, I've been doing it longer than him, too. Carolinian Rail Fan has 337. And those are the Rail Fans that I have been ahead of for a while. Mainly because I've got a head start on them. But I finally passed Jonah Snyder. I uploaded a video a day. Three months so far, and I surpassed a person who hasn't uploaded in five months. Pitiful. That means that I am not uploading videos which are getting people to subscribe. Why? Because they're not that great, most of them. Yeah, they're really not all that great, most of them. I'm admitting it. They're filler, most of them. But who's next after that? The next rail fan that I must surpass is Jacob Riley. Now, Jacob Riley, a few months ago, along with Stevie Weedy Beebe, they both heard through Facebook that the CSX Heritage Units, the nice new ones, they were both coming through North Carolina on one of their first trips, like within their first week of operation, they were coming through North Carolina. Now, I, of course, knew nothing about it. But I was all right with not driving an hour just to see the trains go by once. Because I could see the future. And in the future, I saw that they were going to come to the North Carolina Transportation Museum during the Fire Truck Festival. I didn't actually know, but it just conveniently worked out that way, didn't it? Let's see what I can see in my future now. horrific vision. Next, after I pass Jacob Riley, who I am gaining subscribers at the same rate as him, even though he's uploaded four video, three videos, yeah, four videos so far this year. And I've done a video a day for three months, and I am gaining only slightly faster than him. Why? Because my content is meh. Most of the time. Then we got, like, I gotta be looking serious for this. Then we got Stevie Weeby Beeby. He's got 787. When I started keeping track of these subscriber counts, I was less than 200 behind him. But now he's almost 300 ahead of me. And he just published his Thomas video yesterday evening. Which means he's probably going to gain even more. Yeah, even quicker. Then after Stevie Weeby Beeby, the next highest rail fan that still has not reached a thousand subscribers, which I'm going to try to beat to a thousand subscribers, is the new Rail fan. He's got 823 right now. And up until last week, he had only uploaded a couple videos so far this year. But then suddenly, five days ago, he does this at a place which I've never heard of before. And then he does this. 
yesterday at a place which I've heard of but not really paid much attention to. So, he might get to a thousand before the end of the summer if he can keep this up. But of course he skipped Day Out with Thomas at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. And I think to myself, if you were a sophisticated and smart rail fan like me, you would have gone and videoed Day Out with Thomas. But of course, if I was a sophisticated and smart rail fan like me, I would have gone up to Tweetsie and videoed Day Out with Thomas this year. But no, I had to go and say to myself, I'm not going to go within eyesight of Tweetsie all 2019. Why? Because I can. And so that's all the rail fans that I hold in high regard that I have yet to surpass. But I will not be surpassed by a rail fan such as this, a rail fan who's more nuisance than he is quality. I mean, I'm not got that much quality, but I'm not much of a nuisance to most people. And I will surpass him. I will surpass him. And I will build my own railroad. But in order to do these things, I need to show that I have some common sense. Well, that's one thing that he lacks. And I can beat him on the common sense front by showing educational videos, like how about how to unload a hand car from the back of a pickup truck. This might not have been such a good example. I really need to get started on that hand car construction. But I really don't have any excuse right now. I've got the money, I've got the time, all I need to do is get up, wake up, get up, and get out there, and start videoing, fixing up the hand car, and doing stuff with the hand car, and moving cross ties around. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's drop hand cars out of a tree, let's go, let's go, let's go.